All right, so welcome to part three of my how to make your own custom face follower for Skyrim using the creation kit. In our previous videos, we had made up the character and then we assigned their parts like the face, the hair, and things like that. But what we have to do now is completely make it standalone. This way, if we don't have the mods present that was used to make up our character, our character will still work. So... Uh, what we're going to need to do first is we're going to need to go into our overwrite folder so we can actually get our face textures and our uh, face model. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to type in our follower. And we're going to find them and then we're going to. We'll just open that folder, leave it open for now. And then we're going to go and find a folder called the overwrite folder. So we're going to open this overwrite folder. And we're going to go to textures, actors, character, base gen data, base tint. And then you will see your ESP for your character. Now you can go back here and just copy this whole folder from the overwrite folder. But I'm not going to do that because I have multiple mods going on right now. And so I'm just going to take this. And then I just basically made my own path. All right. So in our characters folder, we have textures, actors, character, face gen data, face tint, and then our character. And then what we got to do is we got to go back to our overwrite folder. And then we have to grab the meshes, actors, character, face gen data, face geom, and then there's our character right there. So I'm just going to take that and drop that back in our meshes, actors, character, face gen data, face geom, and then our plugin. If you don't have this, this path file, just make it, you know? You could probably put your own exclusive path path, but I just do it exactly like how the game does it just in case you don't have to do this for the body, but I always do it for the face just in case. So once you have these set up, you can actually see we'll go to our meshes, actors, character, face gen data, face geom in here. And then we can actually open this up and we can see there's our custom face follower. The hair is never attached to the head when you're looking at it in NIF scope. So don't mind that. But we know that this is our follower because we gave those ears that's pointing out. And you can see there's the design of the hair that we gave her. So, yeah, uh, what we want to do is actually we want to stay in here. And what we want to do is we want to start assigning the texture paths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on female head. And then I'm going to click on this one, lighting and shader property, and then this texture set. And what we need to do is we need to change the texture paths of all these things from the games folder to our folder. OK, so I'm going to I'm going to show you how to do it um, for the face, because there's a few things that you have to watch out for when you're doing it in here. All right. So let's start off with the basics. So let's go back here to our textures. And this is the reason why I say I like to put all of my textures in one folder instead of subcategories like teeth and hair and things like that, because then you'll have to copy multiple paths. But since I have all my teeth, hair and eyes all in the same folder, I can literally just copy one path and it will cover most of the stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to select in our file bar here and we're going to scroll all the way back. Until. I guess right here you can select textures if you want, but I'm just going to select this. Because once I select this folder right here, the game is going to know that these are where the textures are at. So I'm going to come back over here. And then where my female head DDS is line in here is I should be able to click this and it should allow me to rename it. Maybe I got to double click it. All right. Yeah. So double click it. And then what I'm going to do as I'm going to replace everything before this backslash with the file path that leads from my folder to these textures. All right. So it's going to go from bimbo follower 
to find a female head DDS as opposed to, you know, actor's character, which is probably your overwrite folder or your games folder. So let me go ahead and fill these in really quickly. All right, that one. That E. All right. After you fill those in, this line right here where it says blank, male blank, just leave that one blank. Then go all the way to the bottom right here and then do the same thing to this one that we did to everything else. Paste that in just like that. Now, the next thing that you want to do is we want to go to uh, where our face gen data is. So right here, actors, character, face gen data, face tint, and then in here. And then what we want to do is we want to select all of this until we get to actors. And then we want to copy this. And then we're going to go here where our DDS plugin was from where we exported our character's face. And then we're just going to hit paste. Replace it all. And then what you're going to do is put forward slash and then the DDS plugin that we have. So you could easily just come right here and copy it, which I'm going to do right now. And then we could just paste this in. All right, and then put dot DDS. And then that's the face. The face is done. Now we need to do the same thing for like the eyes and stuff like that. So I'm going to come back to my character. And then you're going to go, you know, your, your folder might be different than mine, but you're going to go to basically wherever your textures are. And just make sure you copy the file path to show the head mesh where to find them. So I'm just going to click on these eyes right here. Lighting and shader property texture set. And it's basically the same thing. It's all pretty much self explanatory from here, but I'm just going to do this really quickly and uh, make sure that the textures are in your folder before you paste it in, because if it's not, it's probably just a default texture. So all right, so once I got everything set up, you can actually go in here and just see that everything is here. Make sure everything is leading to your character. And if it's not, it's probably something that wasn't present. I went and double checked the uh, eyes of beauty and this wasn't in there, which means it's probably a default texture or it's just unused. And then our mouth. Oops. What did I just click on? Our mouth right here. If I can find it, there it is. Our character's mouth. All right, so pretty much after you got this all set up, we want to do the same thing for the body, right? So you would just copy your texture path. And then Go to your body that you generated with body slide and dropped in here. Oops. Where is it? Oop, I never dropped it in here. Oh, yes, I did. It's right here. All right. So go to your body. And then you would click on this. Like so. And then you would grab this. And then just copy the texture path like that. And then there you go. Paste that in there. And just do this for everyone that's in your folder. And then you have to do this for the body. You have to do this for the hands. And you have to do this for the feet. All right. So that's pretty much it um you don't have to do it on these files that have the zero next to them only the ones i'm not exactly sure what the zeros are for i think it has something to do with like a body slider default shape 
thing or something like that. But we already have the shape we want, so you don't have to worry about those. All right, so once you got all of these filled in, I'm just going to go ahead and save it. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the feet and the hands. So I'm just going to jump ahead. All right, so we also did this. We're also going to do this for the hair. I'm not exactly sure if you have to do it for the hair because we did do it in the um in the default head but you know i guess it just never hurts if these same textures are present in your character's folder you should just go ahead and replace those lines so this is just the last of it both my hairlines my body and my face all have the texture path fixed and I'm go to my character's head and save that as well you could save it like this or you could go to file and drop down save it like that or you can hit Control s all right so i'm just gonna close that out and that should pretty much be it so once you're done why the heck is these why do i have emb local why is that all right, whatever. Once you have your character done, then you're able to just zip them up, put them in a zip folder, and there you go. You could, you know, do whatever. Give it to your friends, save it for later, store it with all your other mods that you made, and things like that. So I'm not going to zip it up because, you know, eventually we're going to get into some more guides where I show you how to make packages, where I show you how to make quests, and I'll show you you know everything that I learned about scripts all right so that's pretty much it your followers should be working if you need any help if you run into any issues please leave a comment below if you're still here thank you for watching leave a like on this video to support me subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I will see you guys next time